Shem. It's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you today? Good, guys. Good to get a win yesterday. Yeah. Now, I know everybody plays for their own reasons, but does the team at all care that that was probably a really important win for Adam Gase against his former team, not to lose to them twice? No, I mean, that wasn't our mindset going in. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't know if that's the case for him personally or anything, but um, it was just good to get a win. I mean, to get a divisional win, uh, it's always tough uh, in this league, and we're just happy to come out with that one uh, with a win. What's been the issue on first down? You put yourselves in a lot of those second and longs this year. I, I think it might be one of the worst in the league. What, have you been able to figure out what has been the problem on first down? No, I think, you know, we just got to we gotta keep learning. We got to keep learning from the tape and, you know, understanding um, everything that goes into it. I think, for me, I, I can be a lot better, especially when we pass on first down and making sure that I get a completion uh, because I think, you know, making sure that we're in second and, you know, second and manageable and then obviously third and manageable, that helps the game a ton, helps our rhythm, helps the flow of the whole offense. Um, and then when we run the ball, I felt like we ran the ball really well yesterday. Um, so it was working for us and um, <clears throat> felt like the first half was definitely a lot more smooth than the uh, second half. Um, but I thought, you know, our defense obviously did a really good job that second half of keeping a really good red zone offense, um, keeping them to three points when they got the chance to get down there. So, uh, you know, I thought it was a really good team win. Um, and, you know, just really, really happy for our guys. Now, you said after the game there are going to be some things on the, the, the film that you see that you're not going to like. I'm sure you've looked at it by now. What didn't you like about your performance, if anything? Just some, just some throws. I mean, I, I, was, I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't accurate in that game. Uh, there were some throws that I made, but, you know, obviously the ones that I didn't make uh, stick out a lot more to me. Uh, so there were just a couple throws that I missed, and that was that was really what I was referring to with that. Now, I don't know if you get caught up in this. You probably don't. But, you know, after what happened the last time you faced Miami, was there a little something extra to try to just to avenge that, to even things up after what happened earlier in the year? No, I think you, the first time we, we played them, they, they caught us with a couple different things that we hadn't seen, and, you know, pressure-wise and, I think just making sure that we were prepared for those certain looks that we got. Um, I thought we did a lot better job of handling that in certain scenarios. Um, so I thought from that aspect, we learned a ton from that game. And, you know, our offense was ready to go. You know, we played well in the first half. Second half, obviously, like I said, didn't go the way that we wanted. But we got the win. That's all that matters. Tell me about the rapport that you are obviously developing with Robbie Anderson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Robbie's a... He's a great player. Obviously, he's super, super fast. Uh, so whenever you got a guy like that who can, you know, separate the way that he can, it, it helps for sure. Um, you know, I think whenever he was struggling a little bit, you know, on the stat sheet, it wasn't because he was, you know, it's not because he wasn't doing his job. You know, it's just because teams were might have been taking him away with a safety or, you know, doubling him of some sort. So, uh, that's usually when the other guy stepped up and made plays for us. So, um, you know, Robbie's always, he's always been really good for us. Um, you know, especially these, these last few games, he's had some huge games. And, um, you know, he's just a really explosive athlete, a really good player for us. And, you know, he's looking to do more of the same these last few weeks. If Ficken misses that field goal and you guys lose, what do you think is the first thing we're talking about today that didn't go right yesterday? Um, I think for me, it's, uh, I think, you know, struggling to get in the third manuals again, like I said, in, in the second half, uh, making sure, and like you brought up, like Michael brought up, just, you know, the inefficiencies on first down. Um, I think that would have been the huge key. And for me, it was, you know, making sure that we were staying in second and third manuals. Um, I think that would have killed us. And then some of those throws, like I said, the few mistakes that I made, the, inter in the inaccurate throws that I made in that second half, um, you know, I would have, you know, that, that wouldn't have been fun to watch, you know, especially coming away if we did lose. So um, those are just some of the things. But, you know, super, super stoked to be able to get the win. And now we're moving on to a really good Baltimore team. Sam, that final drive certainly was helped by the um, 
the pass interference that New York took a look at and actually called the pass interference, I just get the sense, I wonder if you in the middle of it can get the sense that it's changed as the year has gone on. I don't think that that call is reversed in week three, and yesterday it was reversed. It was reversed all day, too, not yeah, just the Jets game. Not just the Jets game. Do you think it's changed sure. a little bit? Um, you know, to be honest, I haven't been paying too much attention to, you know, those calls around the league. Uh, I've just been really paying attention to our games and how they've been called. But, um, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm not really too in tune with that, you know, for what it's been all year with the officiating in terms of the consistencies and the inconsistencies. Um, I just know that, you know, they reviewed it and we got the call. You know, that's all that mattered to me. Um, and, you know, I was just happy the call went our way and that we were able to move the chains and uh, Sam was able to, you know, make a really good kick. Do you, were you kicking yourself for the sack that kind of took you guys out of field goal range in the middle of that drive? Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's, again, that's one of the plays that I'm referring to as well. Uh, you know, you just hate to take a sack in that situation. That's like one of the cardinal sins in two minutes for a quarterback. Uh, so the fact that I did that, you know, it's just, it's not good football and try to stay away, away from that. Now, you mentioned the Ravens coming up. Uh, not only the challenge of taking on one of the best teams in the NFL, but doing it on a short week. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's going to be fun, man. I mean, you know, watching tape, it's they're a good defense with really good players. Um, you know, and we're excited for the challenge. Um, you know, it's going to be fun to go to Baltimore and, you know, face that crowd. Uh, it's just going to be a fun week, uh, jam-packed with some football and uh you know, hopefully we're ready to go out and, and get a win on uh, Thursday night. What are the challenges? What do you have to shortcut? Because usually you have six days to prepare. Now you essentially have three days. I, I don't even know when you're traveling. So when, when exactly, what do you have to cut out to prepare for the Ravens on a Thursday night? Yeah, I think, you know, it's just <clears throat> some time that you would normally have to recover. You know, these next few days or really next couple days, uh, Monday and Tuesday. If you have a game on Sunday, are usually your recovery days. But for us, we're we're back at work. Um, you know, we're we're grinding the tape, and then you know we're also going to get out there and practice a little bit. So, um, you know, it's really just rest time. Uh, we're, we're trying to you know jam pack all the things in mentally that we need to focus on, uh, but physically, you know, it's just about getting back out there on Thursday, getting ready for a game. So uh, that's the only difference. And you know what the best part about a Thursday game is, Sam? that you're going to be able to come to our Christmas party on Friday because you worked on Thursday. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of fans Excited. are looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> well, we wish you, we hope that it's on a happy circumstance after yes. we went over the Ravens. That'll That'd be, be something. Fun. Yeah. And we wish you good luck on Thursday, my friend. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. You got it. Thanks, Sam. That's the Sam Darnold Report brought to you by